the WCW Tag Team Champions, Luna and Lot, the Daughters of Darkness. Famous, of course, throughout the world, her shaved heads and their famous makeup against Princess Jasmine and Candy Devine, currently in the ring. The WCW Tag Team title holders, and they won the title about six months ago, have successfully defended it all throughout the country in a wild, wild fashion. Managed, of course, by the diminutive one, the Prince of Wrestling, and his bodyguard, Phantasm, who was always at his side. The Doors of Darkness walk down the streets and people just stare in amazement. They are wild, they are outrageous, but they are the champions, and it's going to be very hard for someone to dethrone them. And this is why income is Luna to help Locke. Anytime Locke's in trouble, Luna's there. Anytime Luna's in trouble, Locke is there. They have no regard for the rule books whatsoever. They will do anything to win. And it's just very difficult for anyone to beat them. They get disqualified in about 90% of their matches. And this is a problem that this fine combination of Candy Devine and Princess Jasmine is going to face tonight. Drew Tossel is the referee. And Candy Devine currently will step over to hold on Locke. And here comes Luna, and this is a pattern you'll see repeated over and over again this evening. Well, Princess Jasmine takes a page out of their book and returns the favor. A large crowd here at Bally's Reno enjoying the outrageous Daughters of Darkness. Candy Devine, the Amazon girl of the WCW, five foot nine, very very attractive. Locke, five foot seven. Not so attractive, but at the present time, here comes Luna. Here we go again. So, so difficult to wrestle these girls. Now they return the favor with a step over toe hole by Locke, and she is really twisting it. Luna hollering and screaming on the top rope. Here comes Jasmine. Nice chop across the throat, and down goes Locke, and now Candy Devine back with the step over toe hold. And I think if Jasmine and Devine fight fire with fire, this could be a very, very interesting match. Divine just squeezing that leg and just trying to put all the pressure on the knee she can. That's a long-term type of strategy. Injure someone's leg and then hopefully later in the match you can take advantage of that. Not quite as effective a strategy in a tag team because you have two people to wrestle. But nevertheless, usually a pretty effective strategy. Locke trying to go for the rope. I'm surprised Luna hasn't come in here and helped her. Oh, there goes Phantasm. He pulls her out. Well, when you have three people outside the ring, someone's bound to help you sooner or later, and Locke gets the aid of Phantasm. Candy Devine going after that leg again, but Locke... Well, Locke might have hurt her leg that time. She seems to be favoring it quite a bit as she rolls out the ring. Luna's coming in, slowly but surely. Luna does everything very slowly and surely, but when she gets in the ring, she's a very, very tough young lady. Luna, very unpredictable. Will do just about anything to win, and you never know what she's going to do next. Candy Devine, very impatient with Luna, wants to get going. Nice wrist lock. And Luna will go to the ropes, and that's another trademark of the Doors of Darkness. They'll always go to the ropes, they'll break a hole, they have no compunctions whatsoever about breaking a hole that way. Lock up, nice wrist lock by Candy Devine. Candy's definitely out-wrestling Luna at the present time, but Luna may be out-muscling Candy. The Doors of Darkness just getting ready to embark on a world tour that includes Japan and quite a few stops in the Far East. And this is one of the last matches before that tour. And Candy Devine, of course, and Princess Jasmine would love to wrest the title away from them and uh, send them titleless, if you will, to the Far East. But that remains to be seen. Luna now just pouncing down on Candy Devine's arm, and she's twisting her arm and twisting her fingers. And now she's biting her fingers, and Drew Tassel is uh, distracted by Princess Jasmine, doesn't see it. Candy is screaming, and I know for a fact that Luna has not had her rabies shots. Again, Jocelle is distracted, and there she is biting again, and Candy is just screaming, and the referee is doing nothing. Unbelievable. 
And those lunas put her chain on, she's going home. These people are just outrageous. They're daughters of darkness. Luna outside the ring, put her chain back on. The referee should order her back onto the apron, but he hasn't. She's too distracted in the ring. Now she's taking her chain off. Now she's coming back on the apron again. These girls are so unpredictable. Princess Jasmine finally tags in, and now she's returning the favor. Biting the finger, and Luna trapped under her body. Can't get away. And Princess Jasmine is just biting and twisting her fingers, and there she goes again. And Luna is screaming, and Princess Jasmine returning the favor. The fans love it. Locke still disoriented on the other apron, hasn't really noticed what's going on. There she goes again. Look at that. She is really chopping down. Drew Tassel sees it, but then he doesn't see it. He just might be a little tolerant because of all the problems the Daughters of Darkness have given him in the past. Locke warming around, talking to the audience, hollering and screaming. Does not hold on to her restraint of rope, which is a no-no. Tassel warns her to do so. Meanwhile, Princess Jasmine is chomping away on Luna's fingers. Look at that. Look at that great close-up shot. She is really biting down on this. That has got to her. There she goes again. She is really giving the payback. Up to the feet and a chop across the throat. Luna back into the corner. Up with a body slam. Way up and down. Good one. Princess Jasmine giving Luna some of her own medicine. Luna out for a little consultation, I think, with the prince and with Locke. The prince very upset that his charges have been dealt uh, what he would consider to be an unfair blow, I'm sure. This is a point here where the referee should be counting those girls out. Both the daughters of darkness are outside the rope. And they should be counted out, but they're not. Luna pulled over the top rope by Jasmine. Way over and down. I think she hurt her back a little bit on that one. Princess Jasmine snapping her down goes Jasmine with a double chop to the back of the neck. Luna, very tough, comes right back. Goes for a pin. There's the cover. One, two. Jasmine kicks out. Almost had her. These two eyeing each other. I think Luna is going to, well, she's going to go for a tag. In comes Locke. Locke and Princess Jasmine eyeing each other. Luna freaking out outside the room. Never stops moving, I do. Leg dive by Jasmine. Going for a slingshot. It is blocked by Locke. Very nice. She just collapsed her body and blocked it. Beautifully done. On the ropes, and Jasmine's going to have to break it. And Jasmine pulls Locke back into the middle of the ring. And referee Drew Tassel is going to allow it. Toe hold by Jasmine. Jasmine brings Locke up to her feet, across the rope, off the ropes. Oh, backdrop, way up and down. You know that one hurts. And Phantasm drags Locke out of the ring. Just as Princess Jasmine started to move in, Phantasm reached in and just dragged Locke under the ropes. Locke, a big, big backdrop. Very slow getting back into the ring. Princess Jasmine looking very, very good here. And you might have a feeling that maybe there's an upset in the air. Locke buying some time under the rope. Still shaking up, I'm sure, from that backdrop. Princess Jasmine, very, very cool, eyeing Locke. Locke just not real sure she wants to get back into a lockup with Princess Jasmine. And now Jasmine has got Locke over in the corner. There's a right hand, another right hand. And Candy the Vine is pulling her by the hair. They're holding Locke in the corner, double teaming her. That's definitely a page out of the Daughters of Darkness book. And now Candy the Vine is pounding on Locke. And Luna, for some unexplained reason, has not come into the aid of her partner. There's a whip in the corner, there's reversal, and Candy Devine goes into the corner. Luna holding her, now Locke pounding away at her. And the prince grabbing Candy Devine's leg and pulling at her. 
and they've got her bottled up in the corner and she's in trouble. Princess Jasmine, crack on Jasmine, gets hit by a rock. Jasmine and Rock hounding each other in the middle of the ring. The prince pulling at Tammy Devine's leg outside the ring. Luna choking Devine. The prince is pulling. This is going to be four against two. Phantasm just waiting to get into the action. Look at them. They're pulling Tammy Devine. Look at her legs are split between the ring post. Luna and the prince. Jasmine and Locke outside the ring right in front of us. Total pandemonium as everybody's outside the ring. Even Phantasm is holding Candy Devine. Luna and Devine are into it. Locke and Jasmine. There goes the body slam. Down goes Luna. Locke slammed into the corner of the ring by Princess. Wild pandemonium here in Bally's Reno. The referee has, I believe, stopped the match. Oh, Princess Jasmine just ran Locke into the table. She's picked up a... He whacked her over the head with a pitcher. Unbelievable. Candy Devine and Luna going at each other. Unbelievable. The Daughters of Darkness, I believe, have been disqualified. And Luna has thrown some powder into Candy Devine's face. Now she's going after Jasmine. And seems to have blinded Jasmine. The referee's trying to break off the action. Candy Devine's going after the Prince. Luna and Locke coming up behind him. Oh, she hit over the head with a pitcher. The referee's trying to break it up. She goes after her again. The pitcher has broken. There's glass all over the floor. They're hitting and pounding each other. There's broken glass all over the floor. It's very dangerous. Candy Devine and Luna. And here comes Locke up behind Princess. The referees are trying to break it up. Wild pandemonium. Oh, no. Body slam. Locke goes right down on the broken glass. The security force is keeping the crowd back. And the referee's trying to gain control. 